Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It's me, Sonia Jamil. And my representation credit goes to my team members, and that includes Maiza, the content creator, Afsha, and Mukaddas, video editors. And today our topic is right to education in Pakistan. Regretfully, I am saying that there is pathetic condition of education in Pakistan, and moreover in all over the Asia, especially. Simply, why we choose this topic? Every being has the right to educate because it has the power to change lives. Education is a power, powerful tool for breaking the cycle of poverty and more over 30% of population in Pakistan is even under the line of the poverty. And, a grow, and we can survive poor child growth, development and being well-being, closing the gap of the inequality and social evils. There is, we have seen numerous of the child bagging on the roads and because of their lack of education and awareness. Let us discuss it under the sayings of Holy Prophet. He says that for the sake of knowledge, you can travel to the longest distance like from Arabia and China. And this, and this tell us how essential education is in our life. Even our Islam, our deen support this. And if we talk about education system in Pakistan, that is really ancient. There is no progress, no evolution since I am, I have been studies and my parents studies those books simply. I am studying those books. This labels is truly ancient and no progress, no analysis. Simply there is the cramming of the notes and just we have, there is, we, we're we just getting a degree, a paper in, in our hands. And that's not the base of our study. And if we talk about the woman of education of women, education of women in our society is neglected, is truly neglected and an independent woman in our society is just considerable as a characterless woman and that is, and that is horrible. And it's simply they considered a sin to educate a woman. And moreover, half of more than half of the population of Pakistan is of are, are of females. And there is George Burr Herbert who says a mother is a worth of hundred schoolmasters. And in Urdu, if we say that, we have heard many times. Ek, ek, they can use the prop they can use the products in a right way they can and sanitary products and in correct way and also such they can teach properly their children's in other other children's in around their societies there but there are few barriers in fem female education and that shouldn't be considered for uh, like first it comes cultural problem the culture of pakistan is uh, homogeneous some people are conservative and there moreover there is a lack of awareness parents don't send their daughters to uh, colleges university they don't allow them to for job and poverty and education there is a strong relationship between these two things and about 24 percent live below from the poverty line in pakistan and poverty is the worst from the violence and it can lead to the many crimes in the era and in pakistan pakistan is like for me it's just a place of crimes mostly in mostly people are uneducated and there is no sense of humor there is social social evils are common in pakistan and poverty and parents lack of interest to enroll their children in the schools and are the main factors that are leading children to the workplace instead of schools in Haber Pukhtunha and day by day and this they are the main factor this also leads to the increase in population there is no family planning lack of awareness people indulge in these things and moreover child marriage and education this is really horrible, horrifying that this led to and the lack of education led to a lower earning for child brides in adulthood since a lack of education parents. Mostly, where their children are looking for their own benefit, they give them a gift. No matter what their future is, it's a gift for them. And that is not, this shouldn't be considered moreover. The relationship between the child mind and education is again strong and then if we move forward there is a real life example for this Malala Yousafzai is a legend living legend for Pakistan she was the she was the youngest child for the winning of the Nobel Peace Prize at the age of 14 at the age of 17 in 2014 she she advocated for the movement of rights, rights for women and became. And in October 9, 2012, a gun showed Yusuf Say when she was traveling from the home to school. 
she survived and continued to speak out the importance of education in pakistan and she fought for it and on not in only in pakistan she fought in many on many international forums for this and then child labor and education as i just studied, uh, told you earlier that child labor is one of the most common problem in asia and also in pakistan pakistan is amongst the top 10 countries having the issue of child labor and that's really uncommendable moving develop, moving many developing countries like pakistan india bangladesh extra facing a huge problem of illiteracy and there is unconditional there is only 57% of literacy rate in pakistan and that's not also on a right way our ministries our education institutes are just they, they have just considered it a business for themselves not educate to people and but we should have to improve this system first we have to bring it to the level of the european countries we even can't do that but we have to try even second one is because of the reason that it help in the political consistency education also help us to realize our rights and duties it also helps to improve our economy and pakistan economy is just lowering day by day the problems are associated with the education facilities there are lack of facilities our economic budget is just lacking behind and it is mostly used on defensive purposes but not on education ministries and but we have but moreover that that shouldn't be done actually and all these issues can be uh, solved by implementing rational policies and proper implementation of the policies then what we conclude actually we have to improve this our our societies our nations our government should take steps for this being a member of the society i i have to take the steps for this we should start this from me not from others and there should be and for improvement available and accessibility of schools particularly in rural areas and moreover there will there are more agriculture sectors and then there must be financial improvement in our countries moreover and these all should and english language especially this is an international spoken language and mainly in all over the world moreover our our language is urdu but there should be a proper classes of this also from the beginning not at from your university levels from the beginning from your primary sector so guys thank you so much at the end i will just have play here for your time and for, thank you so much